I guess my boys finally found someone useful. Yes, I'm talking about you for once in your pathetic little life. You're going to be of use. Don't worry, the hero's not coming for you today. Or tomorrow. Or who knows, maybe even the rest of the week. But you can lighten your punishment a little bit. All you have to do is tell me what's in that sweet little head of yours. Oh, <laughs> darling, I'm talking about what you know of the company. The company. The one plastered on your shirt, the one we watch you come in and out of five days out of the week. Just an office job. <laughs> Sweetheart, I've heard that one plenty of times before. Look, I'm gonna level with you here. You know, maybe you have a family at home. Kids, even. But, I don't have anything. And that's what I'm working towards right now, is getting something. And that is the upper hand on the hero. So, all you have to do is tell me how to access this hard drive. There it is. I got you. Your expression changed when I showed this hard drive. You do know something. This hard drive is empty. One of the boys brought it in. They thought it was a useful thing, but uh, it just had a bunch of interesting photos on it. Nothing that I need to see. They can have all the fun they want with it, and I don't care. But, you have a hard drive that looks just like that, that has information on it, and I know that because your expression changed. <laughs> oh, darling. It's clear that you don't know how these things work. It's simple, really. You deny telling me the information for, I don't know, a day or two. My boys rough you up a little bit, you know, scrape you along the edges. And finally, you snap. And you tell me everything. And then, well, sometimes you go on your merry way, but not all the time. So, depending on how cooperative you're going to be, it will determine your fate. I'll keep you alive. I'll make you think that you're gonna die, but you'll live. All you have to do is tell me what is on that hard drive and or how to find it. It's simple. I just want the information. <laughs> Pardon. Sweetheart, I've done this before. You'll always say, I'll never talk. You won't get anything out of me. You'll have to kill me first. Yeah, I've been there, okay? This is kind of my job. Alright, you know, daughter of one of the highest crime bosses in the city. All you have to do is explain to me why your company is getting so much money and yet giving it all away. No company gets more money than it gives away like yours does. You don't make two million a month and give away nine million in a week. That's not how this works. It's not how math works. So why are they getting so much money? And why can't you tell me why? Are you worried they're going to cut your salary? <laughs> Look. You're not going to talk. Fine, fine. I have a friend who will 
will help with that. I'll come by in the morning. And if you haven't decided, well, I'll leave you another night. And another night, and another night, and another night. Until your blood is dried on the floor, crusted over, being eaten by the ants. Then maybe you'll decide. I'll continue coming back until you are skinnier than a fishbone. But you'll still be gasping for breath like a fish out of water. You know what? That's what I'm going to call you. My little fish. My little guppy. Because you're so helpless in the current situation. You have no access to the outside world. No one knows you're here. They think you're away on a business trip. The hero isn't going to come and save you because they don't want anything to do with us low lives. <laughs> In fact, he doesn't even know you're here. Isn't that crazy? The hero who is supposed to protect everyone doesn't even know where you are. So, why don't you do me a little favor and tell me precisely what you know it can't be anything too big what are they stealing oil from china are they mutating creatures in area 51 we all already know that's happening you don't have to keep that a secret come now darling with a pretty face like yours you must get quite a bit of attention. You must be, what? A manager? Leader of some corporation? You must have a name to you, or else you wouldn't have been picked out by my men. Yeah, that's right. Men. Yeah, a female is ordering men around. Is that so new? Uh-huh. Well, anyways, back to the task at hand. Are you going to tell me or not? What, do they have a, a secret cure for cancer? That they're not afraid? That's it, isn't it? They're not afraid. Oh, they should be. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they should be afraid. Yes, yes, they should be very, very afraid. And so should you, in fact. Oh, because of the things that I know how to do. Do you know there's a pressure point on the human body that can cause them to be paralyzed? Or that one cut to a specific vein will have them bleed out in a week. And they will never know. Isn't that insane? Or that if you deny someone food and water and or sleep, they go literally insane and some even kill themselves. And how they do it is quite miraculous. Do you know, if you feed a human body to starving pigs, the only thing that remains is hair and fingernails? Crazy, huh? Why don't you just fess up? I'm gonna level with you here, sweetheart. I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want anyone in the city to get hurt. All I want is your corporation leaders to suffer and struggle. I don't want them to feel physical pain. No. I want them to go insane. I want them to fear the fact that they might not have any money to bring home to mommy and the kids. I want them to tremble when they hear my name because I took every single dollar from their bank account just like they did to me oh you don't know that side of the story 
well, little fish. If you'll hold out, maybe I'll share it with you. After all, you are quite interesting. You're not boring me like all of the others. All of the others would have been half dead by now, begging for mercy or water. Hmm? Yes, Corporal. Father, he wants to tell him I'm busy. What do you mean it's urgent? This is pretty urgent. Do you see who's sitting right here? Don't you move. Chain him. Yes, I said chain. Chain him, Corporal. Corporal. Are you... Are you denying an order, Corporal? Good. Chain him. I'll deal with my father in a moment. Oh, look what you made me do. Now my little guppy's all chained up in a teeny weeny little bowl. Oh, poor thing. If you hadn't have moved and or tried to escape, you would have stayed chained free. Hey, Adam, make the rules. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I, I did make the rules. <laughs> yeah, that's me. So, little guppy. I'll be by tomorrow. Maybe then you'll tell me what I need to know. Good day. Wait. What do you want me to wait for? You'll tell me. Well, then spill the beans. The water. What about the water? Chemicals in the water. Corporal? What are our men drinking? Water, but added electrolytes and steroids. Your company is putting chemicals in the water. Why? <laughs> to brainwash citizens. And they called me the bad guy. <laughs> Do you know what chemicals? No, but you are in charge of what's released. Hmm. Corporal? Who else do we know on the inside? Ah, Lara. Correct. Lara Key. Do you know her? You do? Perfect. Lara Key is in charge of where the water is released. You say chemicals. Corporal, have the... Have the med team start testing. Everyone. Everyone we have access to. Test test saliva. I, I, blood. I, I don't care. Test it. Find out what these chemicals are. Test the water if you have to. Go! You, my sweet little fish, are going to come in handy very, very soon. But first, we need to get a hold of Lara. Then, I'll deal with you. Cyanide. They're putting cyanide in the water. Hmm. Wait. Why... Why are you telling me this? I mean, I haven't even hit you yet, and... You trust me? You trust me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that is comical. You're serious. Well. I guess I could say that I'm surprised. I didn't expect to be trusted. 
You've surprised me, Guppy. There's more? More what? About why you told me? Ah. Could it be the fact that you're stuck here? No. Well, whatever it is. We'll worry about it at a later date. I have my father to attend to. Yippee skippy doo, so excited. A family reunion, how fun. You, guppy, stay there. Don't move around too much. Those chains are self-tightening. Good day, guppy. <laughs>